700 kids at a majority black public school could not get inside of the school, had to wait outside for hours. Many of them walked home or got a ride home because they had the audacity to leave their student ID. Now, let's be very clear. If you had to carry a, an ID to school, uh, you lost it or did not bring it with you that day. Maybe, maybe they could have shown a little grace here. Let me show you a picture of them standing outside. It's a horrible scene. These are kids trying to get an education, okay? This happened in Atlanta, Georgia. More than 100 students say they were forced to wait outside for hours at an Atlanta high school because of strict school ID requirements. Atlanta Public Schools spokespeople told Channel 2's Audrey Washington that they told students and parents that no one was allowed inside the building without a school ID. Now I want to remind you, this is basically a new thing, all right? They were off for a one week break. And after that one week break, they come back and they can't go to school because they don't have their student ID. Uh, this is Frederick Douglass High School. Uh, they forgot their IDs, had to stand outside for hours. Uh, Fred, uh, Frederick Douglass was an escaped slave. Let's put up his picture. I want to remind everybody of who the school is named after and show you the great irony here. Uh, Frederick Douglass was an escaped slave who became a prominent activist, author, and public speaker. He became a leader in the abolitionist movement, which sought to end the practice of slavery before and during the Civil War. The great irony is this, he was a man who fought for access. He wanted those in America enslaved individuals who had freedom. He wanted access, he wanted them to get freedom so they could have access. And the school named after him, denying access to students for forgetting their student ID. Let me say this just to bring it home. There are people working all across America, they have an ID to work. If they don't present their ID, there's a default, there's a protocol. They don't gotta go home, they don't just say, "Oh, well, I don't have my ID, I can't work now. No, there's a common sense remedy for you not having an ID. Being told that you can no longer receive education because you forgot your ID or maybe you lost your ID without any remedy on the campus of that institution seems quite ridiculous to me. I know some teachers at this school, very fine educators are there, but this is a policy issue and it goes too far. There was one kid, her name is Trenise Smith. Trenise, 18 years of age, was one of those students outside and out of luck. We were just standing outside, all these students standing outside, she said. Smith said she did not know the school would enforce the policy so strongly when they returned from the fall break. She added some students didn't know what to do, so they walked home. Uh, the APS Atlanta Public School System did release a statement uh, to Channel 2 Action News that read in part, at Frederick Douglass High School, approximately 100 students could not enter the building because they did not have their school issued identification cards. Over the past few weeks, school administrators at Douglas have communicated to students and families that students should be required to wear their ID cards at all times in the building. Now I wanna remind you that the institution had over 90% compliance, okay? So most of the kids did comply with the mandate. Some kids forgot their ID. Officials went on to state, that the added protocol was to enhance the safety and security of the school environment. They added that providing a safe and secure place to learn was their top priority. Great, they have to be inside of the building to do that guys, okay? I just want you to know it does happen inside of the academic training moment, which you denied them that opportunity. I'm not saying don't enforce a school ID requirement. I'm saying have a damn common sense remedy at the institution. Because you know what? Kids and grown folks are going to sometimes forget their ID. Michael, what are your thoughts here? 
Yeah, well, I mean, first of all, uh, you said it perfectly. I mean, there has to be a secondary remedy. Um, at TSA, if you show up to the airport and you don't have your ID on you, uh, there is a plan B at the airport to get you past security at an airport. This is a school. So uh, there has to be a plan B for that. And, uh, you know, What's going to happen next? Uh, it's almost as if they would want them to have an ID to vote. Oh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> um, That's yeah. a good one, brother. But it, is, but it is about. It is about. I mean, there's got to be a remedy. This is not so cut and dry that you cannot deny a child to come in. They went home, and, and you're exactly right. If you were, you know, nobody would bring their ID to work if they could then just go home and not go to work. But, exactly. but the the uh, the idea is is ridiculous. All right, well, they are coming up with a plan. I spoke to some people off record earlier today, and they are going to have a common sense remedy so that if a student happens to not have their ID, then there's a way to prove they are a student. All right, good stuff happening, moving in the right direction.